trip I took from Kansas City to Hollywood. Which ended up with a star on the <laughs> But anyway, that trip, that trip took me right through Albuquerque and did all by myself in my little Ford L87. And I remember I spent the night here and I was in the hotel something. Six or something, I don't know, I didn't have any money. Yeah, and I stayed there and I went down to a restaurant and I kind of looked at, a, at one of the waiters and I thought maybe someone will tell me you know, a place to go for a, a girl to go, you know? And you know, I, I figured all waiters and waitresses were, you know, so. I looked at the guy and kind of went, hey, is there a place that a girl can go? Besides, you know, I was in Albuquerque. It was like a Friday night, I'm ready, you know? And so he sent me this place called the Bear or something, but it was it was a total like like a nightclub for people, you know. <laughs> Girls, you know. And I was like, oh no, all right. So I sat at the bar, ordered a few drinks, and I don't know what happened, but eventually the bartender, a couple of them, <laughs> kind of came up to me and said, "You want to be in a different place, don't you?" <laughs> I said, well, yeah, yeah, I do, kind of. Could you help the girl out, you know? And they said, well, okay, you gotta go, you gotta go down the freeway a little bit here. And you turn off the freeway and you see that there's this little place. And you'll know it because the door will have a little blue light with it. <laughs> and what was it called? Yes. <laughs> 
times you're riding down Interstate 40. And you see that storm that's a hundred million miles away and it's blowing all the way across New Mexico. And I mean, Oh, my God. 